Hello and welcome to another edition of Joe Knows. Um, I thought we'd do something different today and we'd do a teardown of a 5.1 audio gear uh, digital sound decoder. Um, basically what this device does is it, uh, it detects your, uh, you know, like a signal out of your TV, like a, a digital, like a, a optical uh, out of your TV, for example, or hi-fi, or a DVD player, and basically it converts the stereo optical signal or uh, into or auxiliary, even auxiliary, uh, or coax into a 5.1 uh, surround sound uh, uh, speaker uh, system. Uh, obviously, you need an amplifier. This is just a, dec a, a decoder. Um, and it runs off 5 volts DC um, so I'll give you a wee tour around it, the device now basically what we have is uh, I should say, I should start from on the back we have here, if I can just get my camera to focus um, let's try it Um, basically what we have is uh, we have the auxiliary jack um, right there auxiliary input these, these are all your in, these are all your inputs um, you have your auxiliary jack input on the right hand side you have a digital coaxial input you have an optical number, optical two input, an optical one input, and then you have your DC uh, five volts in. You have two buttons here, two uh, rudimentary push buttons. Um, basically, one uh, one actually selects your input input source. So by pressing this button here, it selects whether your auxiliary, coax, optical one or optical two. And the other button switches between 2.1 uh, surround sound or 5.1, uh, you know, for your surround sound speakers. Excuse me. And there's uh, corresponding lights here to show um, that th this is your power LED. This is your, um, I think that is your, uh, your optical one, basically. I think that refers to, that's your optical two. And that's your digital, I ah, digital three, and then you've, sorry, you've your digital one, digital two, and your digital three. That's optical one, optical two, and uh, coax digital, digital. Uh, so that's it. There's a 5.1 audio gear. Uh, it's made in China, obviously, as most good things are. Uh, gives you some uh, details there. It uh, it is Dolby AC3 format. So it does uh, sim it does a simulation output uh, front left channel front right channel uh, rear right channel rear left channel center channel and a subwoofer channel. So that's your 5.1. Uh, I think the five referring to the five speakers plus the one is the subwoofer. The point one refers to your subwoofer. So there we go. So. Uh, I thought we'd just do a teardown of it, and uh, I'll uh, maybe give this a go now. Just bear with me. This angle might be better, possibly, maybe not. Actually, I'll just stick to the angle I had. And I'll try and zoom in for you.
Okay. So, it's pretty easy. There's four screws there, 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 and there. Two and the other two. In fact, I might be able to just. No. I don't think this was actually that expensive. Uh, I think I got it on eBay. It is a very good device. Uh, sound quality has been very good out of it. All metal case, so as simple as that, just comes apart with that. So, <laughs> all we have inside this job is your, uh, let me get this right, your two optical, your coax, your two buttons, uh, you have a 27. Point zero 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 uh, uh, crystal, or oscillating crystal. Uh, uh, basically, just a big chip in the middle that says AC3. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Big chip in the middle just says AC3. <laughs> uh, so that's not very interesting. Couple of capacitors, Chang capacitors. Oh dear. And then your three LEDs and nothing on the back. So it's a, it's a fairly uh, fairly well made. A circuit board, um, uh, nothing too interesting at all. The nice thing it has a USB 5 volt out, which is quite nice. I suppose to power the like a mobile phone or something for your auxiliary, like which is over here. That's your auxiliary. And the three, oh, I meant, I meant to say the uh, ports on the back are basically you have on the back of this device you have uh, they're they're two way uh, three and a half mil jacks. You have your center subwoofer coming off one jack. Uh, you have your front left, front right coming off your uh, another jack, a uh, two way jack. You have your uh, rear left and rear right. Don't know why it says S, but and they're coming off a uh, another jack, uh, another two way jack. So you have three two way jacks. Uh, so it just so happens that it suited my Cambridge uh, subwoofer amplifier, it was really for a, a, a computer, I think it was, it was a 5.1 uh, system, 5.1 um, computer speaker system with big subwoofer and four, let me get this right, five uh, cube uh, speakers from Creative Soundworks. And uh, uh, let me tell you, the quality, it, I mean, it, the subwoofer still, it's, it's, it's still working today. And the little cube speakers are awesome. They're, they really are very good. But, I mean, if you don't have a computer with a proper sound card that can support these three, uh, you need them, a sound card that has these three outputs, uh, which I 
sadly got rid of my old computer because it was well it was done it's just uh, edged so I got a new computer but it didn't have three of these um, and anyway I didn't really want to use it with my computer anymore I wanted to use it um, downstairs with my TV which I have done and I've used it via this here uh, so it's brilliant so basically all I at the minute I have in my TV I have I have the optical coming out of my uh, TV into one of, into one of these opticals. I have the optical out of my uh, PlayStation coming into that one, and I have an optical out of a, a satellite box going into that. So I get three optical digital uh, sound going in and going to my surround sound 5.1 speakers, which is awesome. And that's the review of the 5.1 Audio Gear Decoder, which you can get anywhere on eBay or anywhere at all. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Bye.